Now, Brad, I was just wondering, you're talking about your love abalone sashimi. Can you show us how to do it? I'm not too sure. sure. I, I must admit, I've never had it sashimi. Oh, before. look, it's the best yeah. way to have abalone, especially okay. when they're fresh, yes. straight out of the ocean like this. Okay. So you collect uh, a freshly harvested abalone. This mm. is one that's been on our reefs for three years. It's okay. around about 130 mil. You use the shuck and iron, mm. take them out, just peel them out slowly like that. Yep. Then we just need to uh, quickly tenderise it. Okay. Now you need right. to tenderise them, yep. it stops rigor mortis and yep. it makes the abalone absolutely, okay. absolutely delectable. Right. So it's just one. With a 4B2. Is that it? That's it, mate. You don't have to do oh. nothing more than that. Okay. Just enough. Basically, oh, it just stops it. those chemicals that yeah. in rigor mortis yes. from being released. Yep, yeah. okay. So then, just take that mouthpiece off mm. and then just quickly is that right? slice it nice and So, this is how they'd serve it in Japan, for example? This or China? China? Uh, the Chinese are not onto the sashimi yet. The Chinese oh, visitors okay. I've had here have been quite amazed is by, oh, by so this. So, it's the Japanese market? The Japanese market, okay. for sure. They love their sashimi. Yeah. Um, so look, you just grab the abalone like that, and yeah. just lay them out on the plate. Simple as that. Simple as that. With a bit of wasabi and yeah. your sauce. For my sauce, I chop some coriander and chilli with a squeeze of a lime and a dash of soy and pop a squeeze of wasabi on the side. There we are. Look okay. at that. Look at that. Here's a there, mate. So looking forward to this. Never tried it before. Little fork. Here we go. I might pick it up like that and try it. I can't wait to get it. You're going to need that bite of the wasabi as well. I just love Put that, that stuff. Put that on there like that. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, it's, it's a, a firm taste. Yeah, it's a got crunch. Mmm. And that's one way. Absolutely. And then the other way is cooking them. Let's try that. The sauté? Absolutely. For Ten seconds, all you need. Now, Brad, this is the other recipe you have, and it looks pretty simple. Yep, it's just a straight sauté, freshly sliced abalone, a bit of garlic, mm -hmm. and the butter. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll just push that down. Yeah, that's right. So we'll just put some butter in there. And really, like any seafood, don't want to overcook it. Ten seconds. Really all oh, really? It's, it's yeah. like that. It's, it's, it's a bit in, like calamari. Absolutely. Or, in or and out. Less. You overcook it, and it just yeah. takes the flavour out. And so we'll just. And you're getting get the beautiful garlic. perfume of that uh, garlic coming off there. Lovely, isn't Stunning. it? Yeah. So in, so in there, you've cut you, it the same way as you did for the sashimi. Yep. So yep. we're just cooking it just like you might cook a bit of whiting. Yes. Put it in there. Put it sliced up. Okay. All right, just mix it around. So if you just want to put yep. a bit of salt and pepper on there now. Mm -hmm. A bit like that. I reckon I'm about ready to pull this out. Okay. Here we are. Oh, that's looking good. And look at this so, beautiful shell too. So this shell here, oh. Michael, is... In my years of abalone diving, it's the largest one that I ever found in out of all the hundreds of thousands of abalone I came across. Jeez. So I kept that as a. So how old do you think that might be? Well, he'd be been? about 15 years old. Is that right? Yes. Okay, so let's just That's use it. him as a nice plate. Oh, look at that! Wouldn't that be fantastic to serve that at a table and you can all sit around and a little bit of a, a squeeze of lemon so. on that? There we are. So here we go. I can't wait to try this bit. I'll just get him up there. Just use your fingers, mate. Oh. oh, that is so tender. Completely different texture, isn't it's it? It's totally different. Mm. That is amazing. Really, really good. If Australians ever catch on to this, you're going to be a very, very busy <laughs> person. Well, I hope so. That is amazing, isn't it?